In this quick tutorial, I will show you how to install VS Code on Mac to run AI applications with Python. But before we start, head to your Spotlight and bring up your terminal. This is just the Mac terminal. I want you to type SWVS underscore. You can see we are on the latest 14.5 Mac OS. And you can also type Python 3 because all Mac comes Python pre-installed. So if we do Python 3, it will activate the Python and you can see it has version 3.9.6 which is the February 2024 version. To run a Python script, you just need to do Python 3 followed by the path to your script. But I won't need run now, I'll show you later. So let's just quit bracket bracket. Now, we want to update the Python to 3.11 because 3.11 is the version I often use and it's widely supported. It's a stable release. So on the Python website, we will download, we will scroll down to 3.11.9. Let's click on download. Sorry about the flash. And then if you scroll all the way down, look for the files. And the files we are looking for here is for Mac OS. So click on Mac version. Wait for the download. Back to the Visual Studio. We're on the Visual Studio website and this is where we download the Visual Studio code. Now Visual Studio code is a product, is a free product from Microsoft. Probably the best IDE for programming. It's feature rich and also beginner friendly. Under the download here, we can click on download and uh, I'm on Apple Silicon Mac. So let's click on Apple Silicon and let's wait for the download. The installation has completed. So let's double click the Python package to update. Go next, continue, re, install, put our local password in. Okay, that didn't take too long. So if we go back to our terminal, and if we do Python again, let's do show us 3.9. That means we have two versions running on the system. That's okay. That means just the default is 3.9. Let's close this. And um, done. Next, let's install the Visual Studio code. We already extract the file, the download. Let's just copy paste to your application folder. VS Code. Let's start it up. When we work in VS Code, we like to use Workspace. It essentially is a folder where all your files will be. So let's click on this folder icon and go open folder. I will create a new folder just for our first project. So, call it first project. And I click on open. So this is the folder you're gonna be working from and all the files will be saved here. Now, when we use Python, we like to use virtual environment, which means all the libraries, all the scripts will be saved in this little container called virtual environment and you, have, you can have different version of Python in this virtual environment. Now, before we start anything, let's go to the extension marketplace here and make sure we have installed extension it will be used for our Python related stuff. So there should be a Python extension from Microsoft, which I already installed. And you can also install the Jupyter Notebook. which I believe I also have it installed. Here we go. To create your virtual environment for Python, let's go to the bar here and click on show and run command. Or you can do this shortcut on the keyboard. We're gonna create a virtual environment and then we didn't install Anaconda, so we're just gonna use web. Now you can see we have installed two Python version on the system. 
So I'm going to use 3.11.9 for this virtual environment. Okay, so just remember that you need to specify the specific Python version for each virtual environment. And we are just going to use 3.11. To test our Python environment on VS Code, we are going to use a sample code from Streamlit. Streamlit help you to build machine learning apps. It gives you a very nice interface. So it's a UI builder. If we go into their website and scroll all the way down, see here it says build a very basic large language model chat app. Scroll all the way down and you can see the app we're gonna do is a chat GPT like app. You can see what it looks like when it's fully built, right? Just like your chat GPT. And we're gonna copy the full code. So this is the full code here, and we'll copy and paste to our VS Code. Back in the VS Code, you can see our virtual environment has fully set up. Now we're gonna start a new file. It's gonna be a Python. Just paste that, and we need to save it before we can run. Python script relies on libraries. So from the code, you can see this highlight area. That's obviously, we don't have the library for it. So to install that, go back to your terminal and just go pip install. And we want to open AI and as well as Streamlit and just enter. What this does now is downloading the libraries for these two components, but they are only being installed to our virtual environment. So when you start another project, you're gonna have a new folder and you will have a new virtual environment and you should reinstall all the relevant packages again. So this is sort of like container that keeps things separate, nice and tidy, and it will not have any burdens on your system. First, let's fix the API key. This line, we are not using the ST, the Streamlit Secrets component. We're just gonna use our normal OS environment variable dot get. Now OS is not important, so we need to do a import OS. And also we need to load the environment variable because Python script does not load this EMV file automatically. To load the environment variable, you're gonna do from .env load import load.env and load.env bracket bracket. Now if this has come up with unresolved, you need to install a Python package. The package is called python.env. So to do that, that's gonna do pip install python underscore dot env. Okay, I've already got that, so I don't need to do that. So it looks like we are ready to go. You have all the packages ready installed Libraries are installed to your virtual environment. You have all the packages imported. Quickly go through this code. This is a ChatGPT-like chatbot. This is the title. And then this is the way you pass in the API keys from your environment variable. And then this is how you call the model. You can use any model you have access to. You can get that from OpenAI's website when you're logged in. Um, conversation history, start with a empty array. And then there will be system messages from the system and messages from the user. Eventually, all these messages will be append to the chat history. So that's where this session state the message append comes in. Right, if you guys are interested in this app, just check out Streamlit's website or watch my previous videos. Okay, so to run it, we're gonna do the Streamlit run. So hit enter. Here you go. This is the title I was talking about with the ST title. And this is hint text, what is up, which is also you can see here, ST chat input. You can change anything you want. Hi, what time are you made of? Okay. So that's it. This is how we can set up your Python environment in VS Code on Mac and how to run a AI applications. Thank you for watching.